Hell yeah! Hell yeah, you motherfuckers! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! God damn it, trying to disrespect the kids over here. Hell yeah! Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber driver's here, guys. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. You far too kind. <laughs> you guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, so um, our fearless leader, Joe Biden, had the State of the Union address the other day. And they're feeling good about themselves. They're just going around high-fiving each other. And so since they're feeling good, Mr. Trump decided to drop a commercial ad, and let's take a look at it. Look, I'm not a young guy. That's no secret. Mr. Trump is the troll of the year. He's the biggest troll, and I love it. He's getting in the head. Yes! Now, he dropped an ad, and I know you guys are not liking his sneakers. I think them sneakers are kind of fly. You know, the hell with Jordans. These sneakers here, they're about $400 a pop. And so, let's see, if a million people buy his shoes, that's $400 million. And that's going to get him out of the Letitia James money grab situation. But let's take a look at his shoes. Yeah, they kind of fly, all gold. And guess what? Biden is also selling shoes. Let's take a look at his shoes. <laughs> yes, yes, the old man runners over here. Yes, they got the little scraps on there. They got the thick soles so you don't trip and fall and, you know, break your neck, you know. He wears them. Uh, Biden might also, he might autograph these uh, shoes for you, these orthopedic shoes over here. All right, so make sure if you're over 70 years old and you're a Democrat, make sure you get a pair of these, all right? What's the most important thing? To go out and vote, right? We have to go out and vote. We got to get young people out to vote. So now we already know who's the nominee is going to be for the Republican Party. And now it's time for the debate. So they're asking, Mr. Biden, Trump is ready to debate anytime, anywhere. And they say this. Um, President uh, or former President Trump is saying that he wants to debate Joe Biden anytime, anywhere, any place. Uh, is that a good idea? I mean, do you think? I mean, if it's if this is a don't compare me to the almighty, compare me to the alternative uh, campaign. Um, should well, look, if, President if Biden, Donald Trump, yeah, um, I wouldn't encourage it, but I don't think the campaign or the president uh, has made a decision yet. Uh, I just think that, frankly, the American people uh, need to make up their own minds based on what difference Joe Biden has made in their lives. Or should there be a formal debate I, 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 between I, President I, Biden I, and former I, President I, Trump? I support debates, uh, but I'm not a part of, of the president's campaign. Should President Biden debate him, in your view? I, that's a choice that is going to be decided upon soon, and we'll keep you posted. Will you commit to do a debate? 
Peter, we just got through with the State of the Union, and I am just so excited about what we accomplished last night and our president. It's a debate for the 2024 presidential election. I'm not asking what argument he is going to make at a debate. I'm just asking. Uh, it's okay, not an, it's not an arg We're not you, talking about arguments. You're talking about his attendance. You, you need to talk to the campaign. You about these polls concerning the president's age and his acuity. Do you think that it is going to quiet concerns about the president's age and acuity if he decides not to debate? What I can say about that is not talking about the debate. That's something for the campaign to speak to. I'm not going to speak about that. <laughs> Of course, of course. See, now they're going to use this trick. Trump did not debate nobody on the GOP side, and he still won. So they're going to have to try to use that with Biden. And no, I'm not going to debate uh, Trump because he's not on my level, right? They're going to try to pull that stunt. And they're going to try to say, no, he don't want to debate because Trump's going to lie and gaslight and all that bullshit. They're going to try to use the same thing that Trump did or Nikki Haley and the other GOP. But I don't think they would pull that off. But shit, the hell do I know? I'm just a driver. If you guys got any value at my content, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. See that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you liberals, get off my lawn.